all right boys in today's video i'm going to show you guys so you can play age of empires mobile on pc and make it look good feel good run good and not have your phone explode in your face if you try to play on your phone and it overheats and you know a whole disaster happens uh first of all you're going to need blue sex right now blue sex is going to be in my description and the pinned comment and it's going to be this link right here boom now if you already have blue stacks i suggest you still use that link because they'll update your game to the latest version and that will make running age of empires easier because i also don't want to have to deal with people in the comments telling me yo this doesn't work or like oh this and this doesn't work and the other solution is update your blue stack so just update your blue stacks it takes two seconds okay regardless once you have blue stacks i'm gonna go to the app center in which case age of empires is going to be recommended to you right here and right here but that that might be that might just be me right so you, you can also just use the search option and type in age of empires right here and it'll show up or you go to the play store the old way and you type in age of empires and then age of empires bubble shows up here as well okay up to you how you how you do it um you know that's that's all on you now when you before, when it doesn't when it pops up with device isn't compatible you have will have to go to phone in the blue stack settings and then actually change this to one of the most recent phones because although it doesn't change your performance it changes how the play store and stuff perceives your phone and if you're playing if you're trying to play a game on an iphone 4 then it won't let you right a modern game because they, they'll be like no this phone is too old it won't be able to run it this device is incompatible even though this doesn't affect the performance because blue stacks is blue stacks and we have to trick the google play store so just, just in case you get that warning go change your phone to one of the most recent ones now that you've downloaded uh, age of empires which is kind of a hefty download it's like one giga thing pre updates and everything from launching a game you'll launch a game and you'll have a couple of updates now um once you play through the tutorial which they've done they've designed the tutorial horribly as well i'll have to say okay the game i'm sure is very great but the tutorial is designed horribly because you can't change your settings until you, after you've been in the tutorial and the tutorial puts you on the worst settings automatically while downloading the rest of the game right so i i don't like that i wish it was just like a home screen where you could just wait and then you could change the settings there and then you could play for the tutorial because i feel like it kind of ruins your first impressions but once you've done it the game like will run at 60 fps it'll look good and everything so yeah now you'll play for the tutorial right which on blue sex very simple right you click you click and drag the character to where they have to go when you find out account you have to use your actual abilities you have the hotkeys right here that are already set up by blue sex i didn't do anything for this um right i'm gonna have to move my camera down here i think and well actually down here because you would probably want to see the fps stay at 60. um now if you don't like these keys showing up you click the little keyboard here and you do on-screen controls not showing this way you can still use them right so if you want to use uh your john dark like uh, skill you can still just press q or w and it'll activate right like if i if i position my my e over over my walls right here right and i hide them and i press this my my hand that controls the mouse the other one i'm pressing e oh oh wait oh we missed okay there you go we click it right um so that's very simple that's very simple now if you want to have more settings right if you're someone that cares about efficiency and you want to like automate everything with like with just keyboard buttons then you can once you enable the well you don't have to but you can go to the controls editor and you, you have a, a bunch of other options that you can use right tap spot repeated tap spots right which could be very useful for a lot of things um and you can put them everywhere right now but by the way the way uh, if you don't know the way you zoom in and out is scroll wheel right but you have to hold control by the way, in case you didn't know okay so you can zoom in and out but you'll have to hold control while you do so in, in case you didn't know in case you didn't know okay but once you've gone past tutorial and you want your game to actually run great you click the little profile picture and then then you go to settings that's when you unlock them okay very annoying you want to go to graph graphics you have to put them to standard because when you enable high fps the game doesn't let you go above standard on graphics right so if you want to have less fps but better graphics then you can put it to super hd but then you won't be able to have high fps right you'll be locked 30 instead of 60 which i feel like the the fps definitely is worth more than the graphics right um the rest is essentially preference except like the rendering quality i would put to 1080p right um it would just look the best i mean maybe you'll enjoy 720p right maybe it'll make you feel like you're playing age of empires one again even though that was on like 1070 or at, at like 270p maybe but regardless once you have your settings set up and everything in game is fine you probably want to adjust your blue stack settings which the blue stack should come with the right settings but for performance i would i would change these to high cores and extreme memory allocation 
and performance mode and then just look at 60 fps because uh what's the the, the cores and stuff blue stacks won't use as much but in case it needs to because there's like a, like a cutscene happening or something or like there's just a bunch of things of all at once instead of having it freeze on you you'd rather just have like the extra thing so you can actually use it but for the most part it won't it doesn't mean it will actually use the 12 gigs right it'll probably be like one gig or something if you're running like an intensive phone game maybe two um but I, I, it, this this way you can just ensure that you won't have any crashes or anything so just put it as high as possible it won't use that much right uh, and then enable high frame rate you don't have to um i have it enabled because i'll have to restart and i want to if i have to disable it but just have it at 60 it's completely fine most phone games only run at 60. i know nowadays there's some that run uh, higher but age of empires as far as i'm concerned is also only 60. then for display uh you put whatever your display your your resolution of your monitor is or maybe lower maybe higher up to you higher i wouldn't recommend actually it probably breaks more things than it helps with um so most of you guys just 1080p right 1080 right here uh, pixel density i put mine to 320 in my testing this didn't mess with my performance too much but if you are noticing like a significant drop in fps or something probably put it lower right that's probably the first thing i would change because i don't i don't notice the actual i don't i don't notice it visually that much and i don't notice the performance wise that much either right so this is probably the first thing you want to change if, if anything's wrong and for graphics opengl auto uh, you can do software but auto is just like it's gonna be more consistent and then software decoding here as well direct x tends to perform better but there's a bunch of stuff that just black screens like cutscenes and vulcan is um a lot of phone games aren't the, the, the can handle that well that well yet right but you can try it uh right if you have a if you have weak cpu then uh, you should probably try vulcan but yeah and that's about it for the blue sex settings right again remember the phone if it if, it, if it's not compatible but other than that uh, that's Age of Empires. Good job.